In this video, I'm going to show you how I create the Venom Symbiote effect inside of Blender. I started by testing some simulations inside of Blender and uh, after that being said, I think yes, I can move on. Firstly, I tracked the footage in Blender and uh, I, I can now add in a UV sphere and scale it down on the Z axis and just animate it to move forward. Guess what? This will be our symbiote. After animating the UV sphere, I can now add an empty and animate it from bottom to top, which we will use it later. And I can now add a displace modifier to the symbiote and change the texture to cloud and uh, tweak the settings a little under coordinate I'm going to change it from local to the empty we just animated so that it will be changing the displacement each frame and I can now select the UV sphere and add soft body to it and just keep tweaking the settings until I get the right simulation I was looking and just keep tweaking the settings and keep smashing that big button and keep changing the displacement settings too I can now add in a dynamic paint to the ground and the symbiote setting the ground as the brush and the symbiote as the canvas and keep baking the simulation I used this as to find where the symbiote was touching, like in the movie. Bottom of the symbiote was too noisy, so I added in a, another displacement modifier and lower the size a lot to get that kind of noise. And I can now select the vertex which I got from the dynamic paint. I can now tweak the radius and get to what I'm looking for. The blue part means where the noise won't affect and the red ones means where it will be more noisy. And uh, with that being said, I move on to the next shot, which I model, uh, roughly model the chair I was sitting on and imported a 3D hand, which will be interacting with the symbiote. Just like the first one, I can now add UV sphere and uh, scale it down on the z-axis and start animating it after animating it i can now use the same process which i did on the first time i can now add collision to all the interactive things there and add in a displacement to the uv sphere with that empty we've created to make the displacement to be random in any frame I can now start running the soft body simulation on the symbiote and just keep tweaking and baking till I get the look I was going for. And for the last shot I use add-on core flip fluid which I can add in a busier core and add fluid to it and add some human body to make it as an obstacle and continue running the simulation and making different types of settings and i added some material to the venom which is just a black color and the high roughness material i like to render my shadows separate and I want to render the project in Eevee but Eevee shadow catcher isn't really a good idea because if things are colliding you will have some random glitches so I give green material to the human and uh, add transparent shader to the symbiote which I can now render them differently and uh, composite them in uh, any compositing software such as After Effects now I'm done with three shots and there are two remaining which I'll make them in the future 
make sure to subscribe if you like to see the part 2 of this tutorial and see the actual venom transformation effect in the part 2 i got my venom model ready and my remaining shots ready make sure to subscribe for the part 2 and after rendering i brought all of the render to after effect to do some final compositing and some color correcting just adding some noise some blow to the render and color matching it matching the level and we are basically done